So I just wanted to shoot a quick video and show you guys a display that I made to house my various arc lamps, gas discharge lamps, um, things that I've uh, used other than the purpose that they were intended for, a lot of them. So, um, and I'm just getting finished making it. The only one that I don't have yet is this Nixie tube turned on. I'm waiting on a part for that. Um, but we'll start with the front. Um, these two are basically the same. These are Soviet INP3. From what I understand, they're flash tubes. Um, they're xenon. And you can get them for fairly cheap on eBay. The ones that I have are coming from Ukraine. This one is driven by just a uh, neon power supply. Creates that effect. And then I've got this one driven by a flyback transformer from a television. So it has a pretty neat effect, you know, whereas the arcs in this one are really small. This one's pretty big and bright. And it'll do this cool thing where it kind of spins around for a little while and then it stops and, you know, has these certain sort of symmetrical shapes that are really neat or asymmetrical in that case. Over here we have a uh, projector bulb. It's a, it's a xenon projector bulb for like film projectors, you know, for, um, for movies. And if you give it anything under 30 kilovolts, it just arcs where it's supposed to there. Um, it's essentially an arc lamp. But when you drive it with really high voltage, like the flyback, television flyback that I've got uh, powering it, you get these really cool arc effects, I guess, just because of the, uh, well, what I understand, I think it's just the heat um, generated by uh, the really high voltages there. And so the, it, instead of just arcing between um, the two electrodes there, it kind of, you know, flies up there like that. Over here I've got, uh, this is another Soviet bulb. This is, uh, I don't know what they used them for, but it's a, um, it's like a 240 volt uh, neon bulb, sort of an indicator bulb, I guess. And I've achieved a cool glow in the back of it because I've, as you can see, that's kind of painted black. I got some electrically conductive glue and glued the whole back side of that bulb and then basically put a you know three kilovolt I guess neon sign transformer to it um, and uh, that's um, that's what you get you get a nice little glow where it's supposed to and then sort of a back glow on the back side um, just the gases inside uh, reacting with that little bit of bleed through voltage coming through the glass in the back so and then this is exactly um, its purpose these are these old school uh, I can't remember the name they're little art I guess they're they're neon glow bulbs and they use a phosphor for the leaves so like the leaves are um, black normally but when you turn the bulb on same thing as the flowers um, they're green and then they're neon colored. Uh, they're cool, you can find them on eBay, they're a bit pricey. Over here, we've got just a mercury vapor um, lamp. Of course, I've got it in case because that thing puts off a lot of uh, ozone, a lot of UVC, and I don't want to get skin cancer. Back here, I've got some SS501. From what I understand, they're argon tubes, and I think they were supposed to be used as flash tubes. Um, if you know anything more about those, let me know. I don't know much about them. And then some more xenon stuff. These are flash bulbs, uh, like they use for old cameras, and I've just got a couple of them next to each other, driven by a uh, neon sign transformer. Those are also powered by neon sign transformers. You know, all this stuff is three to five kilovolts. You don't need a whole lot for this stuff. And then a couple hundred volts to drive another very small argon flash tube. Um, kind of cool effect. It'll follow your finger. And uh, over here, I just kind of pieced together some uh, sodium vapor lamps. 
uh, I guess, uh, arc tubes inside the sodium vapor lamps. They're kind of cool. They kind of dance around a little bit. And then this guy right here, if I can get it to focus, not really. This guy over here, and then let's see if I can get this one to focus. No. Those two guys are um, high, pressure, uh, high pressure mercury uh, bulbs, and they're coming out of those old, uh, those giant projector televisions that nobody likes and everybody throws away. So um, you can find those bulbs for real cheap sometimes because you know, people still replace them, I guess. But anyway, so yeah, just have to finish it up um, to drive the Nixie. I actually had to put a, can't really see it, yeah, there you go. I had to put a cooling fan on this thing because the underside of it generated a lot of heat. Let's see if we can, let's see what's going on here. So yeah, um, I've got fluorescent ballast driving my uh, flybacks. To me, that's the best way. You just find the primary of the flyback and you drive it with um, those. That's the best way to drive a flyback, in my opinion. Way better than the ZVS, which just creates heat and it's super inefficient and they don't last long. So yeah, it's, uh, I just got everything kind of crammed on the underside of it and makes a neat little nightlight, I guess. So I got to finish painting it and I'll just keep it sort of as a display. Maybe I'll add on to it, but kind of running out of room. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments.